Go ahead and finish. Go ahead and finish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, listen, when you're in Chicago at an event about to get a haircut and you've got your fonts with you, one, you're gonna end up with a dope haircut video, but two, Dumb stuff like that is gonna happen through the whole process. I was in Chicago, guys. I took a hands-on course with Barbara Josh OP. If you guys didn't see the video on that event, check out this card right here and make sure you check that out. But I was up there to learn some scissor work and stuff like that, and I had the opportunity to get a haircut by my man CJ the Barber. If you guys aren't familiar with CJ, he does some super dope creative work like this and this. And I had the opportunity to get cut by him. I know you guys are probably wondering why I have the hat on. I don't want you guys to see the finished product just yet. But anyway, guys, I have a lot of opportunities when I'm out and about on the road to get cut at hair shows and by different barbers. And it sounds fun at first, but sometimes it doesn't turn out exactly how you hoped. Guys, I do have some difficult hair. I have a double crown on the back. It's absolutely crazy. And if you don't know how to handle it, it can really mess with the haircut. And then unfortunately, guys, I am receding in the front as well. So I really need somebody that knows how to handle all those problems. And I really was hoping that CJ was the guy to do so. You guys can see how crazy my hair looked in the beginning. I was totally down with any creative type of haircut that he wanted to do. Like I said, guys, he does that type of stuff in his shop all the time. So I was excited to see what he would come up with. So the main thing Josh OP teaches is the DFS formula, guys. So basically the point is we're going to cut the hair following the growth pattern and how the hair wants to act. And so guys, the problem areas that I talked about, following the formula will give me the best haircut with those issues. So one main thing I took away was the hair has to be very saturated. Guys, I'm talking about so wet that the water was dripping all over my face. You can see how long CJ is spraying my hair. I didn't think he was ever going to stop. But the point is we're gonna cut the hair not round to the head shape, we're gonna cut it along the shape of the haircut we're trying to create. So you're gonna see as we go, he's gonna just change it up here and there and develop that shape of the mullet, mohawk, whatever you wanna call it that I was looking for. So basically I wanted a high taper on the sides and the scissor work has to tie into that. So the hair at the front where the clipper is gonna tie into, you actually get tied to the head with your fingers and then kind of flare out and connect to the back. Now the back is cut totally square. And again, we're gonna tweak that a little bit. So it's a little bit longer at the bottom, has a little bit of a mullet shape and connects to the rest of the haircut. So we dealt with the direction, parting my hair based on my double crown. And now the foundation has been set by cutting the sides and connecting to the back. And that is our foundation. So when you split the top down the middle and take it to both sides, guys, that is to decide the overall shape at the end of the haircut. So if we round it, obviously it's gonna be a round shape. If I want a little weight in the corners, we're gonna cut it square. We're gonna go ahead and bring that top all the way out to the weight that we created so that it has that square shape. Now outside of that, the rest of the top, the green's gonna be left a little bit longer, just kind of allows for some more creativity and for the style to accent the green hair. You guys know I dyed the hair green just so I could get a creative cut at this class. That's literally the reason I dyed it. Now something I learned at this class, guys, was how to use a feather razor. I don't know if you guys use them. If you do, comment down below and let me know what the best one to get is. I am looking for one to start using, guys. I learned a little bit at this class and I wanna take it and add it to my arsenal. So if you guys have a good one, comment it down below. So you guys see with the feather razor, we're able to go in and just add a little bit texture here and there, wherever we want it. And that's something I'm definitely looking to add to my skill set. Now again, guys, the shape in the back, you just have to cut it how you want it. So that's something I learned here was kind of letting the haircut develop and just making the hair do what you want. So if you want it a little bit shorter, if you guys pay attention in the middle of the back of my head, it is a little bit shorter. Obviously the head shape is round in the back. So the hair in the middle is shorter and then the bottom we're gonna leave longer so that it flips out. Kind of gives that mullet shape. If you guys know me, I don't love the mullets but a little bit flip out at the bottom, a little bit of creativity, you know I'm cool with. Now you guys see CJ is using the wall legend. He actually took him straight out of the box 
and hadn't even used them yet. And I don't really know much about the Wall Legend. I don't know if you guys use it. I heard it just has a lever that opens up a little bit further. As far as I'm concerned, we got the Senior, we got the Magic Clip. The Legend seemed like something that didn't really need to be made. So I don't know if you guys agree with me, let me know. But not a clipper I'm looking to add to my arsenal, but you guys can see as he goes through this haircut, it's gonna turn out nice, so they must be decent. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but I have head tattoos, so some people think it's easier to blend with head tattoos. I think it is because it kind of hides the lines and you guys will see as we go, but I don't know what you guys think. Do you think it's more difficult? Do you think it's easier? If you guys have been following me a while and you know what's tattooed on my head, leave a comment down below. I wanna see how many of you guys pay attention to the channel. But back to bad haircuts, guys. I've gotten haircuts. Basio cut my hair once, I loved it. I've gotten haircuts that shows before that I hated. And like I said, guys, it's kind of difficult. You don't know that person's cutting style. They don't know your hair. But I always wanted a high taper. I really wanted to accentuate that mohawk shape. And everybody just gives me a little baby taper on the sides. And so it really leaves me just dark hair. And you guys have been following me. I just have full hair all the time with a little taper. So when CJ took it around the ear and kind of made it that mohawk shape, I was super excited and knew that I was gonna be happy with the cut. So you guys know I have the green skeleton trimmer. CJ had the purple Frank the Barber edition and he actually had the DLC blade on it. And for those of you who watch the channel, you know I don't mess with any blade besides the fine tooth graphite blade. I swap all mine out. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. I did get the low pros in and they have the DLC blade. So after seeing CJ cut with these trimmers and you can see they're cutting super sharp, super crispy and they didn't hurt at all. I think I'm gonna have to mess with my DLC blade and see if I can get that thing smacking like that. And one thing I don't know if you guys noticed, but the area that we cut with our scissors when we started the haircut, where our fingers were close to the head and that block graduation, the best part about the DFS formula, guys, is right where you did that, it is gonna allow the clipper to come right in. In this video, he used the number three. Sometimes you guys see I use the number four, but your finger length where you were holding that should be able to connect right in to the clipper work. And guys, most of us know the hardest part, at least for me when I was starting, of a haircut is connecting the fade to the top without having some weight, without having a blunt line there, without having it choppy. You guys know that's difficult. So doing that DFS formula, doing the block graduation around the edge is gonna allow that clipper to feed right in and then we just have to fade underneath. So that's something I definitely found helpful. I was already kind of doing it that way, but taking this class really solidified some of those things for me. Now guys, honestly, the main reason I took this class, you guys have seen my work. I do a lot of stuff similar to this, but Josh and CJ both really get outside the box and do some super creative stuff. And I really went to the class honestly looking for how they come up with those haircuts. And I was actually surprised guys, there wasn't a secret, there wasn't an answer for how to come up with those. If you guys watch the video, you'll notice that really as he went through the haircut, he allowed it to develop and just go off what the hair wanted to do. And so, you know, I do that somewhat guys, but now I really have a different perspective as I go back as far as, and you guys see in the back of my head, the hair kind of split. He went up there with the trimmers and created two pieces right there just to accentuate those two pieces. The fade on the sides went back behind the ear to accentuate the mohawk look. The hair at the bottom was left longer to accentuate the curl out at the bottom. So things like that, you really just wanna let develop as the haircut goes. And last but not least, tackling the fringe last, he really finished the whole haircut, styled it up loosely with his hands just to see what he had, and then came in and tackled the fringe. So that's something definitely I'm gonna take back to my arsenal, and you guys are gonna see some super creative stuff coming soon. Unfortunately, it's hard to explain, but you guys know I will do my best to do that when I drop some content like this.
Now let's revisit the beginning of the video. Guys, I was in Chicago, like I said, it was super cold. If you didn't see my Chicago vlog, I was super congested, just awful. I couldn't breathe through my nose at all. I sounded terrible and my lips were chapped the entire week. So like I said, filming with Fonz, it's nothing but nonsense. My man had to call me out on my chapped lips mm. and then he just wanted to be silly and start putting chapstick on me while I was trying to get my mustache lined up. Guys, I almost lost a mustache, but it makes some good content for you guys, so, oh well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody needs a little chapstick. It's the, it's the cold, bro. It's the cold. Chill. Bro, does anybody have chapstick? Yeah, bro, chapstick? it's brutal. I got some in my pocket. I'm just going to... Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even sit there. <laughs> Go ahead and finish. Go ahead and finish. He said, "No, you gotta finish what you started." I mean. Yeah, hell yeah. Another big takeaway, guys, was the styling. I didn't really necessarily do it like this at all. It's definitely something I learned. Josh and CJ both style the hair wet. They're gonna go ahead and wet the hair down, put the clay in wet, and then slowly blow dry it. Not so much using a round brush, not so much using the comb, really using their hands and their fingers to make the hair do what they want. Medium speed, low heat, just slowly letting that hair do it. The clay being in beforehand or the product being in beforehand will allow that hair to slowly shape as you blow dry it. And then last but not least, guys, a cool shot and coming in with those styling combs or different things like that to finalize the finished style. Also spraying a little hairspray, kind of floating it over the top as you texture that up and make it look the way that you want will solidify it as well. So I definitely am gonna be changing some of the way that I style things. So I got a lot of new techniques to bring to the channel. So you guys definitely have to stay tuned. But here's the finished product guys, super dope. Honestly, one of my best, I can't say the best, but one of my best haircuts I've ever gotten, ever gotten from someone else, ever gotten at a show, at a class, anything like that. I'm super pleased with the haircut. CJ, you my dog, I appreciate you. You laced me up. The pictures turned out dope. And I can't wait to hang again in the future with Josh and CJ. They were super dope guys. You guys know when you just meet somebody that's friends of a friend and you just know that you trust this person and if they're tight with them, you're gonna be tight with them. That's exactly what happened. CJ and Josh were super cool and everybody else at the class. But anyway guys, that is the video. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like this kind of new style of video that I'm doing, influenced by your fonts leave me a comment down below and let me know smash that thumbs up guys you know it really helps the channel make sure you guys subscribe i got two crazy transformations and the low pro fx unboxing coming soon and i'll catch you guys next time